up, Crypto Warriors? It's talking crypto back at it again. It is, what is it, Thursday? Oh, I'm sorry, Wednesday, the 27th of January, 2021. Big red day today. Everything is in the red. Bitcoin is taking a dump. So is everything else in the top 10, at least. Uh, except for Binance going over the past 24, which kind of went up a little bit, 3%. But everything else is in the red. Uniswap is has been pumping for the past week, it seems. Ave, yeah, Ave's been killing it. And synthetic, so the DeFi coins. DeFi coins are the ones making it out there, crushing it, so to speak. All right, let's get into it. This is the alt season index. And we're definitely in alt season right now. Not like all-time highs for all season but we are there and we're seeing that right now with coins like polka dot and um that's just been pumping for the past couple of weeks or so up over a hundred percent ave a lot of these uh ethereum quote-unquote ethereum killers uh crushing it right so yeah next this coming from Bitcoin.com. Marathon Patent Group buys $150 million worth of Bitcoin as a reserve asset. So we've, we're seeing right now the floodgates. Not even the floodgates, but a MicroStrategy made that first move. And now every uh, everyone else is starting to follow that playbook, so to speak. I've never even heard of this company. But when I looked them up, I should have had a screen up, but when I looked them up, their, their stock was up uh, like oh, over 20% or something like that on the day. So, yeah, good news. Again, seeing that mass adoption where companies are starting to realize that Bitcoin is better than holding cash. All right. So Marathon Group, Patent Group announced Monday that it bought 4,813 Bitcoins. In a deal worth $150 million, the firm joins the growing list of publicly listed companies holding Bitcoin in their treasuries. And when did they buy it? They're buying it on a dip. So all that flood that happened last week and then kind of, you know, transferred over to this week, carried over to this week. Companies, large institutions are still buying the dip. Do not sell your Bitcoin to these companies. All right, not financial advice, of course, but I'm just saying. Not even gonna get into it. Again, just another company buying up more Bitcoin when Bitcoin was meant for the people, not for large organizations, large companies. But you do what you want. Speaking about big bucks, Rothschilds Investment Corporation increases stake in grayscale Bitcoin as institutional adoption grows. This is come from Coin Telegraph. Institutional investment management manager holds. 30,450 I mean, shares of Grayscale GBTC, according to a new SEC filing. And no, the firm is not part of the Rothschilds family dynasty. They may be cousins of the original Rothschilds, but they have that name. They're related somewhere, somewhere, somehow, right? They're trying to make it seem like, you know, they're trying to deflect, basically, <laughs> from the tinfoil hatters out there to make it seem like they're they're not a part of the Rothschild uh, family dynasty. But again, another large institution that's been around since 1908. These guys have been around since 1908. And you don't stay, don't have that kind of staying power if you're not familiar with monetary policies, if you're not familiar with what's happening on a macro scale. And again, big institution, they're using Grayscale and they're buying it at a premium from Grayscale because Grayscale is selling them their Bitcoin at a 20% premium. So these institutions want it. They want it and they're going to get it any means necessary. And if that means that they have to pay a 20% premium, so be it. People aren't selling their Bitcoins, people, all right? Inst or I should say institutions aren't selling their Bitcoins, only the... The ones that just joined the game last week are selling their Bitcoin. But the real ones that know what Bitcoin is, 
they're holding on to it and they're selling it at a premium <laughs> all right so there you have it another big money group buying bitcoin i don't know what more evidence you need and last but not least this is just a fun story coming from TechSpot. Crypto enthusiast installs mining rig in BMW's trunk to annoy gamers. <laughs> uh, in what can only be described as a surefire tactic to tick off the PC gaming community, one cryptocurrency enthusiast has taken the idea of mobile mining to a whole new level by installing a mobile mining farm in the trunk of his car. Tom's hardware has shared photos from his an individual named Simon Byrne, according to the publication and, and has illustrated in the images, Byrne created a miniature cryptocurrency mining rig in the back of a BMW i8 hybrid sports car consistent of six NVIDIA RT, RTX 3080 graphics cards. When asked if the setup was real, Byrne reportedly told the publication that he made it himself just to annoy gamers. And here it is, a whole mining rig in the trunk of a super expensive car. And he's annoying gamers and he's just basically shitting on everybody else just to show that he has the money to, to even do this. He has the money to, to disposable income to not only buy an expensive car, but also make it a plaything to mine uh, Bitcoin and cryptos, right? And this guy's been in the mining game. If you read the article, he, he's been in the mining game for a while. And so it, it's not hard for him to, uh, this wasn't hard for him to do. All right. And, you know, look, look at his license plate, Hobbler. <laughs> so a little, you know, fun news uh, as a last story. Please smash the like, hit that subscribe button, and notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. It's Soldier Crypto about. Peace.